I'm going to make one of my favorite recipes that is a variation on uh, what's called White Castle Pie. And it's basically ground beef with a topping of um, cheese, heavy cream, eggs, and sour cream that I substitute instead of mayo. And you bake it and it just comes out so easy to you heat up as leftovers and it's delicious and easy. So you know I'm all about quick and easy. So the gist of the recipe is ground beef as the base, but when I have different things in my freezer or refrigerator to use up, I usually will cook them up first. Um, so I happen to have um, some sausage links that I just chopped up into little pieces and I'm going to heat them up. And I'm also going to end up adding some bacon into that before I put the ground beef in. So I'll show you, uh, I'm adding some bacon also to this. And we're just gonna brown this up before I put the ground beef in. So this is just the raw sausage links cooking in with some bacon that has really been already cooked up before, but you can throw raw bacon in there. It's really whatever I end up having in my fridge or freezer. So I've removed the sausage and the bacon into a separate bowl for now while I brown the ground beef. And I'm doing that just because it makes it easier to ground the ground beef without all of the other things in the pan for now. To the ground beef, I'm adding two tablespoons of dehydrated um, minced onions. If you're really particular about not using onion powder, garlic powder, or onions, just leave it out. It's fine. You can just put salt in if you want. I don't react to any of that. It doesn't cause me any sort of issues whatsoever. So I like to have a little bit of the dehydrated onion flakes in there. I'm also adding two tablespoons of some dehydrated uh, spices, which is basically parsley, oregano, salt. Um, it's a whole mixture that I make that it's an amazing recipe of spices I put together and I will do a video on that if anybody's interested because I put this in and on everything. Scrambled eggs, pork, steaks, chicken, um, you know, if I make egg salad or deviled eggs, it's just a really tasty spice mixture. But you can substitute for now pretty much anything that you like as far as uh, spices go. And just add that in, mix it in, and we're almost set to um, put it into the pan and put on the topping. You don't have to worry about getting the uh, ground beef to any sort of amount of doneness because this will bake for another 30 minutes. So I usually try to do this to medium um, and just for saving time and I don't like my ground beef well done anyway. So now I'm gonna add back in the sausage and bacon that I have here. And like I said, you can use anything. You could do chopped brisket that you have left over, chopped kielbasa. You can do just the ground beef, which is the way I made it for quite a few years before I got the light bulb moment and said, you know what, this is the kitchen sink kind of dish. You just put any meats in there, even chopped pepperoni. It's delicious. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that this to my ground beef and then I'll show you how to make the topping. The next thing I add is some grated cheese. I like to use sharp cheddar. Sometimes I use a mixture. This one is New York and Vermont shredded cheddar. Sometimes it will have uh, different cheeses mixed together in the package. Uh, I do try to grate my own cheese from a brick of cheese often instead of buying these, but I'm going for convenience now. And you're gonna add um, two cups, which is one package of the cheese to the meat mixture. And 
just mix that up. It melts in really pretty quickly. This helps hold it together. And all I do is kind of just put it right in the bottom of the pan. And it's ready for the topping now. Now onto the super quick and easy topping. We start off with four eggs that I have already cracked into here. We're going to add one um, cup of sour cream. Like I said, the original recipe calls for mayonnaise, but I call no bueno on the mayonnaise because of canola oil, soybean oil. Um, I guess if you're okay with using avocado oil mayonnaise, you could, but um, trying to stay carnivore, um, I go with the sour cream and it really comes out good. Next thing I add is a half a cup of heavy whipping cream and then um, the cheese. But actually, I'm going to mix this up. You can beat this just with a fork, but I'm going to use a hand mixer. So next I'm going to add the half cup of heavy whipping cream and a half cup of grated Parmesan and a cup of shredded cheese. So mix all that up and then we're going to throw it on the meat. So we have the topping done here, and we're just going to pour it right on top of our meat mixture. And then last but not least, I just sprinkle a little more cheese over the top and stick it in the oven. All right, so this is going in the oven at 350 degrees for about 35 minutes, and wait till you see how it comes out. All right, so the timer has gone off, and we will look in and see how this is doing. Perfect. So I'm gonna grab this out of the oven, and you can see how delicious it looks. I'm just gonna let it set for a few minutes before I cut it and show you the end product. I can't wait. I actually have not made this in quite a while. Um, and it's gonna make some great leftovers to have through this um, lockdown. So when I make this, I um, cut it up into large pieces. So I'm just going to basically make a tic-tac-toe grid on here. And I'll show you. So another really quick, easy recipe with not much cleanup at all. These, like I said, are great to freeze up individually in foil packages. You can grab one frozen out of the freezer, take it to work, and heat it up really fast for a quick, easy lunch. It's great for families. Kids love it. And like I said, you can alter it in a lot of different ways to suit your own taste by adding different meats, different spices. I cannot wait to dig into this. You guys are really going to love this. So good. Do me a favor, make it, and send me a comment and let me know what you think. It's so good.